All right, so we are going to be making this mandala today. Okay, here were all the supplies that I used. Hi there, everyone. Um, so I have a white center, and going around that, I'm going to be doing a mix of the Candy Apple Red by Apple Barrel and a couple drops of the Cadmium Red by Golden Fluids. Just mix those together. And I'm going to be putting 16 dots around the center dot. So one on each of the spokes and one right in between. And I'm just going to take a size one um, nail stylus dotting tool. I'm going to put one little tiny dot right in between each of those larger red dots. Okay, so here I have mixed um, that same red with a little bit of Outrageous Orange by Apple Barrel. It's a multi-surface paint, and I'm just going in between on the outside of each of those red dots. And that is with a 3.75 crochet hook. Now here I'm taking um, a size 5 nail stylus dotting tool. And I'm just going to go on the outer center edge and make a dot. And then I'm going to walk the dots down on one side. And then I re-dip, make another dot on that main dot, and then walk it down the other side. And that is with the same orange-red combination paint there. All the way around. Okay, so I'm starting to blend um, some more orange in, and um, I'm using a 5mm crochet hook right there. And I'm just going to go right down in between each of the little divots there, a little, in between the little bridges. And then in between each of those, um, I'm using my size 5 nail stylus dotting tool. I'm just going to put a dot of the same color right in between each of those dots there. And here I've mixed in a little bit of yellow to that same orange mixture. And I'm using a size 5 again. Um, that's a 5mm crochet hook. And I'm going to put a dot right next to the smaller dots in the previous row. Okay, so here I'm using a size 1 nail stylus dotting tool. And again, I'm just going to walk the dots down and around all of those dots. There, and that's the same color. So I start on the outside center edge and dot it, and then walk the dots down one side, and then re dip your tool, and then dot the same main dot, and then walk it down the other side, and do that to each one of those larger dots. All right, moving right along. Um, this is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I am using um, cadmium yellow by Golden Fluids mixed with a little Apple Barrel lemon yellow multi-surface paint. And in between, I am using a size four millimeter crochet hook, and that is going all the way around in between the larger dots. Okay, I just wanted to show you that I'm using a little bit of the yellow that I've already got mixed up, and I'm putting in a little bit of the true green, and that's an 11 and a half millimeter crochet hook. And the true green is a multi-surface paint by Apple Barrel. And here I'm just kind of filling in the blank areas. 
um, it's, I'm going to put a very small dot with uh, my smallest wooden dowel right in between each of the little bridges of, of the previous row, and that is just with yellow. And the wooden dowel is about a three and a half millimeter in size. And now I'm using the True Green by itself. Sorry if you hear my doggy breathing. My little chihuahua, Pablo, he's always sitting right next to me. Um, okay, so with the True Green, I'm mixing just a little bit um, of the Liquitex um, Gloss Fluid Medium, and I'm putting a dot right on the outside edge and walking it down both sides, just like we've been doing with the previous rows. Okay, now that is a five millimeter crochet hook, and then I'm just going with green, that same green, right in between the little bridges. And there I'm just kind of filling in some of the spots, and in between each of the bridges I'm putting two dots. Here I want to show you that I just incorporate a little bit of blue into the true green to get, it's almost a turquoise color. And I'm going to go all the way around, and that is with a 5mm crochet hook. Okay, so I'm gradually mixing in more and more blue here. Um, now I'm going to be using an 8mm crochet hook. And I'm going on each of the 16 spokes, and then I will go right in between those as well with that blue. Okay, now the blue that I mix in there, that is called Primary Blue, and that is a multi-surface paint by Apple Barrel. And I have to apologize here, um, I do not know why my camera does this. It flips to this angle, but it will flip back here in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm using um, the primary blue, and I just add a couple drops of the cobalt blue from uh, Golden Fluids. And I'm just going to mix those two together for our next um, layer of dots. And I'm just using my very smallest wooden dowel, which is about a 3.5 millimeter inch size. And I'm just putting dots all the way around each of those larger blue dots there on the previous row. Okay, I am just going to mix in a little bit of blue with some purple, and that will give us our next color. And this is an 11 and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm putting one dot on each of the 16 spokes, and then I'm going to put one dot in between each of those for a total of 32 dots going all the way around. And then in between each of those, I'm using um, my smallest wooden dowel, which is about a three and a half millimeter in size, and that's just regular purple in between each of those. And here I'm just kind of filling in some of the blank spaces, um, just putting two dots in between um, each of the purple larger dots there. Okay, moving on to just regular purple, and I'm going right around with a wooden dowel all the way around the larger purple dots there. And that is the three and a half millimeter um, wooden dowel that I have. Now you could absolutely just stop right there and that would be a finished beautiful mandala, but I just wanted to fill it all the way in this time, so I'm going to go all the way out with it. Okay, this is a uh, mix between Apple Barrel White and um, Golden Fluid Titanium White. 
And I am using a size 3 nail stylus. And I'm putting a dot right in between each of the previous purple dots. And then also a dot right in between those. All the way around. And it's got a staggered look. But I just thought it was um, a neat little effect. Okay, this is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm just using that same weight, and I'm going right in between each of the bridges, and I'm going to be going right in between each of those as well, continuing the staggered look of the dots there. All right, now I'm going with a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook in red, which is the same red that I used in the center. And I'm just kind of putting a dot right above each of the dots that are protruding out more. And then I just kind of fill it in to make a circle. And for the dots that are further down, I'm going to go ahead and walk the dots around those. Again, using the same red. And just dotting the outer edge and walking it down on both sides. Okay, this is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm using a mixture between orange and red. It is the same mixture that we had in the center. And then here is the lighter orange, and that is with a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And we're just finishing touches here. And the last one I squeeze on here is an 8 millimeter dot of lemon yellow. Yeah, I'm just fixing up a spot that I put my hand in earlier. <laughs> and that is it. Alright, here again is the final product. Um, I will wait for it to be good and dry about a day or two, and then I will go through and erase any pencil lines that are left that are visible. And then I'll varnish it. Hey, if you like my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And feel free to leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.